So guys, this is day two of daily content. Um, I'm gonna show you how I edit my photos. I'm not as experienced with my photos, but like, so bear with me, but um, but I'm gonna just show you how I actually edit them because I mean, some people think I'm decent at it, so hopefully I can help you guys out and just maybe it'll be cool just to see behind the scenes of how I edit my photos, obviously. So to the computer. So we're at the computer right now and I'm gonna show you guys how I edit my photos. So you go to, I usually edit on Lightroom. So right there and then you're just gonna load. So then I'm gonna get this picture of my friend Luke and then export it. I mean, review for import, sorry. And then there, these are all his pictures though. First I just do the lighting. So since this is a little blown out in the background, I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna put the contrast a little up and the highlights a little down. Actually, I'm gonna put them all the way down. Um, like just play around with it. Shadows, that whites, blacks. And I kind of go for more colorful, like, I don't do like, just like black and white and stuff. I do more colorful and, and that's my style. So I usually like to do kind of like a pinkish and like that. Pretty bad, so. <laughs> okay. just, just play around with the colors. Since I, it's a little bit soft, so I'm gonna put the texture a little bit up. And I like to do dehaze because it makes like the colors more like it makes it more like ah, it makes it have more contrast and stuff. So and then I like to do this to focus on the subject. I like to do black and then texture a little down. Um, and then green. Uh, see, I like to make it more colorful. So I'm gonna put it all the way up. And then his hat, I'm gonna make it all the way up. Okay, that's just not good. Um, so yeah, I just like play around with it, you know, if you know what I mean, you know, um, saturation, yeah. right now this is the before and after, so this is before and that's after, so that's what it's so far, you can tell it's a lot better, yeah. So first for this one, I'm going to start off with um, removing his acne because he has a lot of acne. My friend um, is probably gonna get mad at me for making this video, like getting close up on him. But um, so you just get the healing brush and then you just simply tap on it, and then it literally like blends it in with the skin, and then you just like as best as it can. Some places it gets it like it makes it look like a bruise, so you just you're just gonna have to stick with um, what you have, but. Oh yeah, this is what it, this is what you have to do. You can go see see how it like see what it does. So so see how right there it literally made it have a bruise. Like it made it look like it have a bruise. before, after, before, after. So it's a lot better. Um, it doesn't remove everything, but like it's a lot better. It removes the big pores and stuff. So yeah, um, I can do a little bit better. Just let's go a little more. And I think that's pretty much all I can do at this point. So now I can finally start off with um, I could finally uh, start color correcting it and stuff. So, and first I do the light. I put a little contrast. Um, maybe I could just leave this here. Yeah, I'll just leave all this. Um, so I'm probably gonna do more of a pink. No. Um, Q. So since the background's green, I literally can just change it whatever color I want. Like, since it's a full color, 
I can literally just change it like that. So I like that color. Um, yeah, that, that's his skin. So don't mess with that. I'll make it a little bit more orange because he's a little pale. <laughs> um, and what the luminance is going to do for his pimples, it's going to make it like this. So see how I go up? It makes it turn like a little pink, so it, it kind of makes it a little more invisible to your eye. So, watch. So see, if I do it down, like you can see it more. If I do it up, it makes it a little more invisible. So that makes his pimples like go away a little bit more, watch. See, it makes it darker, and then you go right there, it makes it lighter, so it blends into the skin. And then, vision, whatever, you, how you say it. <laughs> vision, I don't know. So I like to do that to focus on the subject more. See, so look at it. it's like it's like out, and then when you, now it focuses in the subject, and it makes it it kind of makes it look, look more professional. So I don't like to add green. I mean, I know some people like to, but I don't. Um, noise reduction. I don't know. It makes his face look like a cartoon. So I'm not gonna do that. I might do like a little bit. So that's it for this video. This is the before and after. So this is before and then that's after. And then, um, where's the other one? This one's not as good though. Like I didn't really um, spend that much time on it, but this is the before and then after. And then um, I also did other ones as um, this one, before and after. So it looks, it like has like a more vibe to it. Actually, my friend edited this, Sam. Your ah, my friend edited this one, Sam Uribe. So yeah, I go shout shout out for him. And then I edited this one. I think I think I did. Yeah, I edited this one. So as you can see, I removed the, all the pimples pretty much. And yeah, so this is it for this video. Hopefully you enjoyed. And another video will be out tomorrow. Another vlog. So thank you so much for watching. Bye.